Now, technology may have been born from the synergy between science and industry, but the ultimate value of any technology lies in the power it exerts to better people's lives. Let's learn how the latest technological developments are advancing the human cause. Upon first inspection, the idea may strike the average person as nothing special. To some of us, a frame grabber might seem like little more than a high-speed camera. Not exactly brain surgery, right? Think again, says a former neurosurgeon. Given my eclectic background in mathematics and neurology, I'm often asked how I started a frame grabber and camera company. Well, when I was a neurologist, I studied neurosurgery and doing monitoring during neurosurgery. As you know, neurons fire in one thousandth of a second, so I had to develop equipment to prevent injury to the patients, and this led me to build frame grabbers and cameras. Meet Dr. Joseph Scro. Prior to his work as a neurosurgeon, Ph.D. Scro achieved global recognition in the field of advanced mathematics and accepted invitations to teach at Yale and later at Princeton's famous Institute for Advanced Studies. The early neurological work he did with frame grabbers eventually inspired him to start his own high-speed imaging technology firm. Now the systems he designs are a vital part of a larger, high-growth field known as machine vision. After its initial use in medicine, I started receiving inquiries from other industries. I would call these the three M's, medicine, military, and manufacturing. In all of these, the common theme is to detect and classify abnormalities. To understand exactly how machine vision works, it might help to see it at work, with the kind of speed and accuracy no human could ever match. Frame grabbers and cameras are part of a triad of an area called machine vision. You first have the camera, which detects the object, translates it into uh, electrical signals, which are sent to the frame grabber, the frame grabber converts this into digital signals which are then sent to a processing unit, be it a computer or other device. The computer or other device then determines what type of object it is and then decides if there's appropriate action to be taken. Since the system is only as good as the images it is able to capture, optics and lighting are of paramount importance. But so too is processing speed. This system is processing 24 images of each bottle per second and runs at approximately 2,000 bottles per minute. Our cameras and frame grabbers have to work in a hot, dirty environment and work flawlessly accepting and rejecting the product. In this environment, off-the-shelf electronics would neither work fast enough nor would be able to stand the environment. NASA recently consulted with Dr. Scro on a ruggedized, high-speed, high-resolution camera system for the space shuttle and the next generation of American space vehicles. Their requirements were that we take seven high-speed cameras and be able to record the two minutes of a launch and booster separation. This is approximately 20 times a normal speed. And in addition to that, the recording system had to survive the rigors of launch, separation, and re-entry. Machine vision and frame grabber technology is having an impact in more down-to-earth ways as well. Our frame grabbers have been very successful in the use of treating cancer via radiation machines. The frame grabber calculates the angle and maximum dosage that should be delivered at any given time to the tumor while avoiding normal tissue. This preserves the maximum healthy tissue for the patient while delivering the maximum lethal dosage to the tumor. Frame grabber technology can be expensive. But it's not out of reach, at least not physically. Recently, Alacron uh, moved its entire frame grabber family to a form factors which are useful for virtually any laptop. It's been increasingly used by the medical field for bedside monitoring, and the military is starting to use it in the battlefield environment. Because of the decreasing cost, increased portability, and miniaturization of these products, basically the sky's the limit for Alacron's frame grabbers.